Welcome back to Sherlock Holmes. So, we are trying to find this clue to the sailor guy right now. Oh, what a Please. I don't know how we could find this correlation to this. Hold on. Let me look through the photos. So, obviously, there was a guy taking the picture, right? That's the acquaintance. That is my guess. But, it's like, how do we find this correlation to the sailor fuck? There's one- there's some clue we didn't find, this knotted rope. The bell rope on the chair was tied with sailor's knot. But, if we can't find the correlation... That means the guy had nothing to do with it, technically, correct? Like, we literally went through everything. Because the two possibilities that I have is it's the Randall's fault or it was an accident. But I don't think it was an accident. Oh, don't look at me like that. Because the bent poker tells me it wasn't an accident. This is very weird. Hold on, hold on. Oh, let's perform an analysis on the road. I didn't even realize we could do that. Alright. Progress. Let's go to Baker Street, guys. I mean, obviously, easily, we would say it was an accident, or blame it on the Randalls and all that bullshit, correct? This is where I keep my post. I mean, we could easily do it like that, but then we would be like the cops of today, and we all know that they don't have such a good rep because they're absolute trash. Anyway, or not all of them, but the majority. Let us see how the rope was cut. Let us see how this rope was cut. The fibers at the end of the rope are smoothly cut. Let us try to find out what tool was used to cut the rope. Most likely was not the scissor. And how do we snip here? What? No matter where I line it up. No matter where I line it up, hold on. I mean, clearly it's supposed to be up here, right? Where, up oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. And bam. The fibers from this cut appear to be different. So it wasn't with the scissors. Could it have been with a knife? If I cut the rope with a knife, it matches the original. So the cut was made with a knife. Alright, sharp knife, knotted rope, correlation. Sailor bag on the rope was cut once with a sharp knife and tied quickly in sailor's knot. That could indicate the intruder had a sailor's background. Makes sense, makes sense. Right? All this is coming together. All the pieces fit. Look for sailor. The person who was visiting that night was probably a sailor. I'm gonna guess it was a sailor. Search for sailor suspects. Whoops, whoops. Where do we... D -d 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 hold on. Search archives. Rock of Gibraltar, 1893. Do, 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 93, Rock of Gibraltar's arrival. The Rock of Gibraltar continues. A ball carrier from the Adelaide, Southampton, London line, Cunard Building, James Street, London, has returned from a six month voyage through India, New Zealand, and Australia to Fort. The ship brought to England Miss Mary Fraser, the heiress of the Fraser family owning land in Tin Mines in Australia. This reportedly beautiful young lady is. Presently engages her use of blah blah blah. One of the wealthiest gentlemen in Kent. Okay. What's that tell us there? 
the shipping company, the Adelaide Southampton London line, and its address. Interesting. It must be the place where they keep the records, including the one for the crew of the Rock of Gibraltar. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard, they'll give it to you without any problems. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. Call in the specialist. Get over here, boys. These are the only specialists we need, right? Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. I need a register, my young friend. If you could borrow it, there will be half a guinea for every one of you. I need the crew list of the Rock of Gibraltar in 1893 and their current employment. I'm straight on it, Mr. Holmes. Do you really think they'll find it, Holmes? My secret police is better than the Yard in many ways. They work outside the law. Three, it only took them a short three hours. That's got to be is, worth Mr. three Holmes, quarters of a guinea, we right? We can't take it back. It's too risky. Put it on the table. I'll take care of it. Good work, young Wiggins. They straight robbed the shit out of it. I left it right on the table for you, sir. I was just trying to give you your guinea, man. This list shows the senior officers of the Rock of Gibraltar, on which Lady Brackenstall and her maid made their voyage. Lady Brackenstall does not know anyone in England. This must mean that someone on this list is our mysterious visitor. That is what I am and guessing. these are the lists of the senior officers of the Adelaide Southampton London Line ships. Let us find out who was in London upon November the 7th. Hmm. November the 7th. Wait, what's this? 12. Wait, are we looking at departure or arrival? Departure, right? God damn, I think we passed it already. What? What is the meaning of this bullshit? All right, maybe we're not looking for November 7th. Are we trying to match these two dates then? Hmm. Shit, man. What the hell did he just say? We're just going to do it the old-fashioned way. Just go up and down. And clearly going up and down is not helping us with shit. What the shit? This list This list shows the senior officers of the Rock of Gibraltar, on which Lady Brackenstall and her maid made their voyage. Lady Brackenstall does not know anyone in England. This must mean that someone on this list is our mysterious visitor. This officer was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He wasn't in London at the time of the crime. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Progress. Mr. Jack Crocker was in London upon the date of the crime, and he is due to depart in two days. Right. And then... we gotta knock out the other names. This officer is still at sea. So he's still at sea. Where is it? This Let 
walker or southward. Walker, I'm looking. I'm looking, Walker. Mm, up. This. Bam. So it's this only him, right? Show. This. What the hell? Oh, William Partledge. Where are you at, you bastard? William, 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 William. There you are. This officer was on a ship that sailed. So it Captain was not Jack him. Jack Crocker is our mysterious visitor. He was the only one around at the time of the murder. Time to find this Captain Jack. So we're probably going to have to get in a Crocker. sailor uniform. Do you think it would be interesting to meet him? Our young friend should be able to find him. Go find Jack. Wiggins, could you find a way to bring this Captain Crocker here to us? Here? Holmes, that could be dangerous. No problem, Mr. Holmes. Sometime later. These Wiggins boys, man, they move so quick. So efficient. Wish I had a couple of them working for me. Mr. Holmes? I was informed that you were looking for me, and I'd like to know why. Yes, it is important that we talk. You will soon understand why. Let us get down to this, shall we? Clear look, honest. He's an honest man. But we'll see how honest he is once we get to the bottom of this. Strong build. Wait, 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 wait. Nothing? I mean, look. It's a little red there, right? Looks like he could have punched what's her name. What's this? Some shit stains. Where's all your features at, you bastard? Clean boots. That indicates what? Up. Oh. Sea knife. Hmm. Alright, what did we miss? Up. Oh. Newspaper ink. Hmm. So he's the one that told Lady Brackenstall to blame it on the Randall boys, right? You are acquainted with Lady Mary Brackenstall, are you not? Yes, I think I do remember her from when I was first officer, but I still don't see... It seems your relationship went beyond that of mere passenger and first officer. How dare you? Indeed, how reckless a feeling is love. Particularly if one is prepared to commit a murder in its name. Explain yourself this instant. You are aware that the murder made the headlines of the morning press. You read the newspaper report, but to your dismay, found it much fabricated. Once you learned that I wanted to see you, you came straight away. You needed to know what I had found. You? And what do you know? That evening, you were with Lady Brackenstall, despite the danger. I'm not afraid, Mr. Holmes. Besides, all of this is just guesswork. You would be right if there was no evidence. What then? Oh, there's plenty of evidence, my friend. Lady Brackenstall was tied to a chair on the night of the murder. And it was you who tied her up. You call that evidence? Oh, don't lie to me, sir. Yes, as she was tied with a sailor's knot. Your handiwork. So... It's a sailor who's done it. That proves nothing, Mr. Holmes. I'm not the only sailor in London right now. Your theory is flawed, anyway. On the night of the murder, I was aboard the Sharp. I was supervising the repair of a porthole. At night? It was an emergency. There was a leak. You can ask the ship's carpenter. He can confirm. I'm sure that he can. 
Perfect. In that case, we have nothing more to talk about. Good evening, gentlemen. Interesting. Holmes, what should we do now? Would you like to check his alibi? No. There is no doubt that these men will testify in his favor, and there will be no way to check. So, what then? So, we must work with what we have. We have all the puzzle pieces. Now I understand why you dissected the bell rope. We have all the pieces, guys. Did we really find every clue already? Whoops, wrong button. Seems like I've done that a lot. Alright. We got all the clues we need. Let's solve this goddamn case, shall we? I mean, we already fitted all these pieces. So I'm pretty confident that it was a sailor fuck, right? What's this here? Crocker's involvement. Crocker, as long as his involvement is clear, he appeared as soon as he heard that I was looking for him, thus signaling his guilt. Captain Crocker was aboard the Sharp on the night of the murder. He was not afraid to confront me. He had a confident demeanor. I mean, both are true. But then, obviously, this becomes false. I mean, so far, I'm pretty much leaning towards here, right? The captain is the killer. Because all these pieces fit so well right now. And I feel like with all the clues that we found and deductions and all that bullshit, I feel like it could only be this. Let's double check, right? Deadly accident. It definitely was not an accident. The bent poker tells me it wasn't an accident. There was definitely meaning behind it. Because if it was an accident, the poker wouldn't have been bent. The poker technically wouldn't have been in that vicinity at all entirely. So the fact that the poker was there lets me know that that probably was what struck him, right? So we're going with the poker blow there. Randall the robber was fake, blah, blah, blah. The testimonials and evidence match. So I don't think it was the Randall gang because we found a silverware inside of the well. Plus, there was a newspaper article explaining the Randall's features and builds and all that good shit. And then there was the captain, which had the newspaper ink on his finger. So he read through that article, I'm guessing, at Eustace's. They found a way to... Alright, so this is what happened inside the house, right? They were smashing. The captain and the lady, they were fucking or whatever. The maid was wherever the fuck else, right? And then the husband comes, walks in, finds him cheating. Says, wait right there. I'm gonna go grab my beating stick. Goes to his room, grabs the beating stick, right? Comes back downstairs. And by then, the captain has the poker. Poker and the beating stick squares off, right? Poker wins. And then to make it look real, the captain punches what's-her-name in the face, ties her up. Blah, 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 right? That, 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 that makes perfect sense. All right, hold on. <laughs> robbery is the motive. Robbery is no, robbery was not the motive because, like, once again, we found a silverware in the thing, right? Two people. It was either... This is where it gets tricky. It's either two or three people, Right? But if it was, if we're thinking it's not the Randalls, obviously there was no three people, so it has to be two people. So that's why we went with the two people there, right? Right? And then for this one, it was common sense, correct? And then it led to that or whatever, and it led to this, right? And then we had a choice here where she was acquainted with a sailor or no acquaintance. But she was clearly acquainted with somebody because someone took that picture of the lady and the maid at the blah, 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 blah. So whoever took that picture was most likely the acquaintance, right? So that leads to that, correct? All right. <laughs> and then we got... Yeah, and then it led to this pretty much. And we can't go off of Crocker's alibi because these shipmates all stick together. Arr, 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 all that good stuff, you know? They're all pirates and all that good shit. So, he was clearly lying, right? This is This is my deductions behind this whole case right and, and it pretty much makes perfect sense at least in my head it makes sense i could even like replay what happened in my head and i kind of try to explain it to you guys earlier all right we're going with this one i'm pretty confident about this one we shall see all right what are we doing here is a murderer and you will bring him and his accomplice lady braggas all the justice murder was committed in self-defense Jack Crocker defended a woman against a violent and dips a maniacal man 
The mystery is solved, but you decide to keep it secret. There's no point to inform the police. Hmm. What are we doing here? Are we going to absolve him? Wait, wait, wait. But there's no indication that it was in self-defense. Alright? The only thing we didn't find out was what happened to the lady's face. How'd that happen? Oh, she already said that the person robbing him struck her with the mighty fist, right? Alright, alright. So... We're gonna arrest this fucker. You're going to jail. Yes. Wiggins, could you ask Mr. Crocker to come here again, please? Right away. Barely an hour has passed. Why did you make me come here again, Mr. Holmes? It is over. I know that it was you who killed Sir Eustace Brackenstall. What? I know because of the height at which the rope was cut. The knife used was a sea knife. The knots were sailor's knots. And not least, the sheer force that was put behind the killing blow. And because you are the only one who knows Lady Mary Brackenstall in London. And because you love her. It's true. Yeah, got it you, bitch. It is time for you to tell us the whole truth. I admit that I loved Mary madly from the first day that I met her. But I never did come to visit her. For I believed that she was in a happy household. When I talked to her maid who told me everything, I was insane with rage. I was due to set sail for six months away. I wanted only to see her again. But it turned into a damnable nightmare when he barged in. He dared raise his hand to her. He! He was not even worthy of licking her boots. Oh, I regret nothing. I admit I killed the monster out of love for her. She will forgive me if she is able. Lady Brackenstall already forgave you. She said nothing. Mary! But that makes her an accomplice as well as her maid. It places her in danger yet again. Mr. Holmes. You would not have managed to protect her. Till I die, do you hear me? Here is a letter that sets everything clear. And it is the one that should be disclosed to the police. I am the only culprit. Mary had nothing to do with it. Now it is time to end this. Yes, it is time to end this. Oh, shit! Oh no! I pressed the X button. What the fuck? Watson. It's over, Holmes. We can do nothing for him now. Here is a case that didn't end as I had expected. It is entirely my fault. I know that you have already drafted a summary of the case. You have my permission for its publication, if you so wish. I'll think about it, Holmes. Guys, what the shit? I swear to you... Holmes! Ugh. Whatever is going on here? That is Sir Eustace's killer. He has performed his own brand of justice. My God! But why did you not call me? I apologize. Here is his letter of confession. So much drama. You have no idea. Guys, I assure you, okay... That I scrolled up. You saw me scroll up to the gun. It highlighted it. I had plenty of time. And I pressed fucking X twice. I pressed X two times, okay? And it didn't register for some reason, okay? And then he blew his fucking head off. Nonsense. We definitely should have been... Uh, we definitely stopped that, okay? But on that note, we're going to accept this decision. We're not going back. I mean, whatever. That's booty butt cheeks. But, on that note, that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. And the ep uh, end of this little Abby Grange affair case. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give the video some likes, add it to your favorites, share it, all that good stuff. See you guys for the next case.